This game is unabashedly anti-Mario. Isn't that what Wario should be? I think so. Wario platforming is like a bizarre Twilight Zone version of classic Mario platforming. Jumping on enemies doesn't defeat them, though they can be picked up and thrown. Just like in Super Mario Bros. 2, which is, you know, the weirdest Mario game ever. Enemies are most easily struck down when plowed through. And this move can't help but bring to my mind Mario's other 90s nemesis. You guessed it, Sonic the Hedgehog. Wario has a killer dash attack that harkens back to Sonic's spin. Maybe I'm reading too much into this, but the idea of a Wario game being made up of these anti-Mario elements is just perfect. Though to be fair, the dash attack might owe more to Samus' speed booster, since the game was developed by the team behind the Game Boy Advance Metroid games. Like those games, levels are designed to be explored. Secrets abound. In a stroke of genius, the game forces you to retreat back to the entrance at high speed once a timer located at the end of the levels is triggered. This turns the game from a thoughtful quest for loot into an intense test of skill. The R button, which in this game assuredly stands for Run, unleashes Wario's Devil Dash and allows him to plow through anything and everything. When madly barreling backwards through the level, using Wario's considerable girth to bulldoze through unsuspecting enemies and secret passages all in the name of treasure, the game achieves a level of platforming nirvana that Sonic and Mario themselves rarely attained. There is surprising synergy between the two extremes. Curious, pronounced exploration and intense rushes of platforming action. Exploring the levels to their fullest and finding all of the collectibles contributes to the game's replay value, as does the ability to play for high scores, though the latter isn't terribly compelling since each level will have one best path and a maximum score. It is fun to see all of the unlockables, though. There's a hilarious sound test that, while it doesn't include music from the game's excellent soundtrack, does instead something much more memorable. It is, in fact, a collection of, dare I say, experimental audio artworks. With titles like About That Shepherd, which features the lonely sounds of wind blowing and dogs barking. and even a karaoke mode that shows off the developers dressed as Wario. This is by far the weirdest sound test in a video game. That's really a good word for this game, weird. But not in a bad way. More games could stand to have item shops with free smiles. <laughs> Wario Land 4 is like the first time you try a wasabi pee. Wonderfully weird. <laughs> 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 